Okay, so it just happened just this minute. Um, I am so excited to tell you about this, but um, man, I got, I got to get, I got to get on it. Got to get on it. So excited to ride with you this morning. Big news. Hey, good morning, lovely people of the planet. This is Jeff O. This is the morning ride pedal powered podcast and vlog kind of thing. If you don't know me, I'm just a dude on a bicycle. I don't know nothing. Just talking through how I'm trying to evolve as a filmmaker, writer, and a human being. Thank you for being on the ride with me this morning. It is a beautiful morning, man. How's your ride going? Hearing some sirens over there. Hope hope that's celebratory. Let's get a little nervous during uh, morning traffic time when I hear sirens. Hope you guys are all on your ride and safe this morning. Ooh, it is chilly though. But I gotta say, chilly with sunshine, I like that over a little bit warmer and wet. <laughs> I think mostly it's just the gear. You gotta gear up so much for riding in the cold and wet. I don't know how you folks out on the East Coast handle it. <coughs> Ooh, look at that sunshine. Oh, I love it. It is like right at 29 degrees though this morning. And that's my uh, kind of the lower end of being able to use my mid-weight gloves. These uh, outdoor research gloves. They have a very thin, huh, excuse me, liner, but they're windproof. So they work great, but my digits is cold this morning. Oh, look at those guys. We got so many amazing birds in the Boise area. I really dig it. The other thing that's fascinating to me about the birds is that they are super shy to the point that if I learned the name of one of them, five minutes later I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Don't know why, bird knowledge does not stay with me. <clears throat> all right, all right. I know, We're trying to build some dramatic tension here. Now we got some people here, so we better be cool. Right. Hey, morning on your left. So last night, got to go see the world premiere of a film called Like Love by Lily Yasuda. She wrote, produced, and starred in it. Done with a mostly Boise crew shot here in Boise. And I'm sorry, I don't know the director's name. I don't remember seeing it in the credits, but I could have just been, I could have just missed it. But I want to look it up. It, it's some great stuff. The cinematography was actually really nice. You know, for a small indie film, they used a lot of nice camera movement. That takes time, which equates to money and or patience. I don't know how they funded it completely. I don't know anything about it, really. Anyway, it was very cool. We were at the uh, Egyptian theater. They sold, like, according to the box, I was basically the Egyptian holds 740 people. And they said they had 42 seats left at the end of the night. So that means that they had about 698 <laughs> tickets. I would imagine most of those were sold or purchased. 
So it was really fun. It's so cool getting to see emerging filmmakers work in a room full of people. And like, I got the sense that a lot of people helped on this project. So it was cool to see the support like during the production through to the screening. So Lily and team, congratulations to you guys. It was a fun film. I'm really glad I went, really glad I saw it. Lily, your writing is awesome. Your dialogue is amazing. All right, so here's the thing. Speaking of tickets, which is kind of a misnomer, but that's beside the point at the moment. As of this morning, tickets are on sale for the Sunset Grove Film Festival on the Sunset Grove Film Festival website. Hey, good morning. At sunsetgrovefilmfest.com. Oh, yeah, had to do a little wall ride. Celebratory. I don't have any bags on me today. Well, the backpack, but none on my bike. So I figure it's as safe as I can be to not shear another axle. But yes, that was what I was so excited about this morning in my office. So I just got the tickets online for the Sunset Grove Film Festival. We've got an event here in Boise, April 18, 6 p.m. at Beside Bardenay. I'm gonna show three sets of short films, about 30 minutes each set. We do intermissions between each set so folks can get more food, drinks, whatever they want, go to the bathroom, wander off into the mystical moist night air, look up in silence at the stars as Mr. Whitman did in the poem, The Learned Astronomer. But we're very excited about that one. That one includes like heavy appetizers, so that's the way the venue does it, beside Bardenay downtown in the Basque district. So your ticket price gets you heavy appetizers or d'oeuvres along with admission. Then you can buy drinks from the bar. Then on summer solstice, I am so excited about this, you guys. Excited about both of them, don't get me wrong. But at summer solstice, which is June 20 of 2020. We're gonna host our second screening, the grand finale of our first half season. <laughs> Idea is to run October through June. But uh, we weren't public until the spring, so that's how that worked out. Kind of a test season too, to see how much energy I have for it. Can I sustain this? I'm sure loving it, you guys. We have received film submissions from all over. Got some local folks here in Boise, which is super cool. Iran, Russia, Netherlands, all over. I am so stoked. Plus, got a couple of filmmaker people that we know said, hey, you mind if we show this great short film? <laughs> I got confirmation on a couple yesterday. Oh, you guys, it is going to be so fun. I cannot tell you. I am so excited to share how much joy short films bring me. I mean, the whole idea is that we want to inspire wonder because short films do this. They inspire wonder and they uh, help create connections among people uplifting the consciousness of the planet, so to speak. All right, so summer solstice is June 20 here in the Northern Hemisphere. We're gonna be at Cinder Winery. They are as excited to have us as we are excited to be there. Hey, on your left. I'm not talking for them, they, they told me that. They told me that earlier this week 
cruised over to Cinder. Let's check out the place one more, more, more time, make sure that we could get a number of folks in there that kind of makes sense. You know, Jennifer and I are just doing this because we love it. So you gotta hit the right price point in a way. I'm really enjoying this a lighting of business and the presentation of art outside of the idea of an arts organization. I've done a lot of work with arts organizations. Hey, good morning on your left. I've done a lot of work with arts organizations, so familiar with that racket. <laughs> I don't mean that disparagingly. I love it, man. Actually, I miss it. I loved, I loved working box office and operations. Especially with our dear friend Jay down in Los Angeles. She's running the, what is it, Los Angeles Baroque Orchestra? I'm sorry, Jay, I'm not remembering exactly the name of your orchestra. I know that you got a lot of folks playing music from a long time ago on instruments built a long time ago, which I think is so rad. Anyway, we're using the Music in the Vineyards model, which the Chamber Music Festival in the Napa Valley, and they do concerts in wineries. So I am very excited to return to presenting art in a venue, hey, morning on your left, that is equally dedicated to a different kind of art. Hey, good morning on your left. That's of the enological variety. Boy, can you hear that? I've got a new rattle in my basket or a rack up front. Can't figure it out. Doesn't seem loose, so I don't know what's going on. It's probably just the straps. Wow, this is the first day I've ridden in that I've seen a bunch of people out. I wonder, am I, did I get in on the ride late again? <laughs> Maybe that's what happened. Boy, that's a beautiful German Shepherd, that white guy. All right, let's see. So if you are interested in attending either of these events in the Boise area, Cinder Winery is in Garden City. Gonna be able to get wine and beer from cinder and gonna have food trucks there too so i think that one's gonna be fun plus it's gonna be a little celebration of summer solstice we're hoping to do a very special event at that it's a very special screening can't talk about it yet because we don't have that one nailed down but i'm excited to tell you about that however it falls out So if you are interested in attending one of these events, tickets are for sale, although we don't print or have tickets. Don't want you to have to worry about that. Just an RSVP list at the door. Keep it simple. You show up, we'll say, hey, glad you're here. What's your name? We'll get you in here. Let's get on with this beautiful evening. If you wanna be a part of that, you can check us out. It is the Sunset Grove Film Festival, sunsetgrovefilmfest.com. Tell your friends about it. Yeah, that's cool. We'd love that. I'll be honest. I wanted to figure out a way to buy you a drink if you refer to friend. Um, I haven't figured out the form yet, so <laughs> we'll see. We'll get there. So if you buy tickets, Tell a friend, we'll appreciate it. Hey folks, that is it for me this morning. So good to ride with you. In this cold, cold morning. I am looking forward to slightly warmer temps, just, just for the little ease of getting around and being able to hop on a bike without gloves and earmuffs and all of that. I'm not complaining. I love it all. I just love being on a bicycle. Hey man, if you love being on a bicycle, get on a bicycle. Whatever your ride is, 
I hope that you get a chance to engage with that today. Folks, it's the only one we get. <laughs>